Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw an owl inspired by fall, so let's get started. To draw this owl, we're going to first start by drawing the top of its head. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve, just a soft curve. Maybe something like that, about that wide. And then from there, I'm going to start to draw the ears. So I'm going to come right here in this area and just draw a curve, it comes down. And then I'm going to bring it around. You can soften the tip a little bit and bring it down for the ears. So same thing over here. So about right here. I'm just going to drag this point across, so approximate height. Soften the tip and bring it down. So the basic ears for the owl. And then from there, let's bring this curve down. So you're going to start to draw the head area and bring it down a little bit more. Okay, so from there I'm going to find the center of this curve, so say about right here. I'm just going to go down, give myself a point, and from there I'm just going to draw a big curve that loops to the edge. really close to the edge. So same thing over here. So then from there I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. Just enough room for my eye. So just bring this down. So just say about that much. I'm going to go ahead and connect it right here with a curve on all the way to the other side. So this is the beginning of our scarf all the way across. Okay, so from there, now that we have that in, let's bring this owl to life. So in this area you've created, let's draw a really big circle. So same thing on the other side. So right here. There. Now let's make the draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two smaller circles for highlights. And a curve at the bottom. So with this curve, I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. Just give more room right here. And then shade in the top. By giving it more room here, you can add more color and I think it makes the eyes more owl-like, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> we'll see when I color it in. If it doesn't work, we can always make it thinner by shading it in black. Okay, so then now the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. So fall is almost here and I was definitely inspired by that to draw another owl for you guys. And also I did get some requests so thank you for those requests and hope you love this new owl that I've created for you. And the lines at the bottom. There. And I'm just going to come to the top right here and just add a very soft curve for the lash. Just felt I needed it. So right here, same thing. Just a little curve. And then in between the eyes, let's draw the beak. So right here, right in between. There's a curve and we're going to connect it to a V. There. <laughs> now to um, bring in the scarf. So I'm going to come right here where we entered this curve. Start with the curve and I'm just going to draw a soft curve on both sides. So we're popping it out so it looks like it's wrapped. And about right there I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Following my top all the way back. There, nice and cozy, right? And then you can come in here with some details if you like, however pattern you want to give your scarf. I'm just going to give it some stripes. So here and there I'll just add some curves. Maybe here. And then as we come to the center it's going to be a little bit straighter. 
And then on this side, it's going to curve the other way. So by doing this, you add some dimension to your scarf so it's not so flat. And of course, some design. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's draw the wing. I'm going to continue this curve. So right here, I'm going to pop it out. About right there, just draw a curve. And so this side has the scarf, so let's work on this side first. I'm going to bring this down. And right here, I'll come and start the wing. So it's going to end about right here. Let's bring this down more. And about right there, I'll bring it up. A curve. Another curve. And connect. There. And you can add some details right here, maybe another layer. And the same thing. And curve it in. Okay, so now for this side, if you're using a pencil, go ahead and draw the wing first. But since I'm using a Sharpie, and I do know um, there's this part of the scarf right here, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a curve out. So, about that much. And go ahead and connect it. And I'm going to add another one back here and connect it. So it's ending a little bit shorter. And let's draw some of the tassels that come out. Or what do you call this? Fringe? <laughs> I'm not sure. And it's all following this curve. So like it looks like the wind is blowing it. There. And then once again, you can come in here for some details. Add a curve. And then I'm going to add a heart right here, of course, <laughs> to decorate and make it my draw so cute owl, right? Okay, so now to draw the other wing. So let's continue this once again. So curve about right here, a little bit tricky, so but I'll add it, say about right here. Go ahead. And I'm going to bring this point across. Oops. And let's see here. Let's say about that much. And I'm going to go ahead and end my wing right there. So now this part's a little bit easier. I'm going to come to this much. So about right here. I'll go ahead and curve just like the other side. And connect for my wing for the other side. There. Okay, so then um, let's come in here and connect it at the bottom. So right here, continuing this curve, it's going to come through. So right here, just add a curve towards the bottom. Same thing here. And I'm leaving the center open because I have to draw the feet. So if, but if you're using a pencil, once again, go ahead and connect it. So bring this in a little bit more. But right there, I'll stop and draw three curves. One, two, three, and bring it down. And once again, one, two, three. Now very lightly, just connect it. So same thing over here. So approximately right there. One, two, three and bring it down. There, we have the feet in. Now let's go ahead and finish the curve. There, and then for some details, um, you can draw some curves very lightly here and there to make it look like feathers if you like, or you can do this when you're coloring it so it's a little bit softer. Just here and there. Okay, so we're basically done with the owl now. Yay, right? Now let's draw the branch that this owl is sitting on. So I'm just going to pop out a branch right here. It's all up to you how you want to draw this branch. But I'm going to come right there and then just going to follow the curve 
So this part's the most important. So as long as there's this branch right here, then you can do whatever you like over here. So I'm just going to bring this out and simplify it. So it is fall, so the leaves are gone. It's more barren. Add a little branch. And of course, you can make this as complicated as you want. But here we're going to try to simplify a little bit. So then I'm going to bring this down, maybe. And just finish it off. And there. Okay, so I have a basic branch in and then the tail. So right underneath right here, I'm going to start underneath the feet. But right there, and I'm going to draw a curve. And then the center, so approximate there. And then you can add some details if you like and bring in this and add some details to the wing, to the tail, I mean. Or you can do that while you, when you're coloring it once again. Okay, so we have that in and then now I thought it'd be really nice to make it look really like fall with the wind blowing with some leaves. So if you like to do that, let's um, let's start over here. I'm going to draw some curves very lightly. Well, you know what? I'm going to... Okay, here. <laughs> see here. Just draw some curves. Very lightly here and there. And then I'm going to add a leaf. So it looks like the wind. And let's bring some more over here just to add more movement. So curve. And another one that comes. A bit more wave there. And then once again, add the leaves. Uh, let's make this one a little bit more fancy. And one more. There. And of course, you can add some more details in the wood. You can have a lot of fun with this, right? <laughs> okay, but that is basically um, my drawing uh, for this owl inspired by fall. And I hope it really inspires you too to have fun drawing this. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.